Hey there, I'm TJ Hoisington and I have a quick thought about the Corona virus. Now listen, I'm sure that you have heard about the coronavirus by now. And let me tell you, there's a lot of energy going around it. 24 seven news channels are talking about it. And if you listen to them, you would believe that the world is gonna fall apart. I get that the WHO organization has deemed it a worldwide pandemic. Yes, it's a serious thing. And yes, we've got to use common sense. We've got to think about it realistically and pay attention and do those things that we're counseled to do, like wash our hands, you know, be aware of the proximity that we have with other people. But here's my concern. I think it's being overplayed by the media. Straight up, I think the media is sowing fear in the American people and around the world. Am I saying that it's not gonna get worse before it gets better? No, it's gonna probably get worse before it gets better, but it's within our control. So my suggestion is today is to minimize, and I don't mean drastically, but minimize all the hype out there and believe that things are gonna work out okay. Let's not overreact to it. Now listen, I'm not an expert when it comes to viruses or diseases. I have no medical background, but I am an expert in how to think like a high achiever, how to think like a winner. And part of that means you see things as they are, but you see them just a little bit better than they are. Instead of reacting, if you watch the, the media, the news, you see a lot of reacting all over the place instead of calmly responding. Here on the Unleash Your Greatness Within podcast, as you can see behind me, right? Let me tell you something. I'm inviting you to be calm and be wise. Now, am I concerned? You bet. Do I have family members that are potentially in harm's way? Of course. I have a son right now as I'm doing this video who's over in Croatia because of the new closing of the borders or whatever, the hold on Europeans coming to America as of tonight. He couldn't come home if he wanted to, technically, I guess. Am I concerned? I am concerned, but I'm not going to overreact. I told my son, hey, just be smart. Be smart, follow the counsel of the professionals. And he said that he would. So I believe, hey, things by and large are going to work out. And I get when there's uncertainty, people tend to get fearful and we start creating these fear thoughts. But the challenge is we start blowing those out of proportion and we start erratically you know, doing things, making decisions that, for example, cause the stock market to go all over the place. And we forget that we have a robust economy. And think about it. The last quarter, we added 270,000 jobs to the marketplace. We have the lowest unemployment in over 50 years at 3.5%. President Trump met with bank presidents today, and they said their numbers are sound, that the economy is sound. These bank presidents said, listen, our greatest fear is consumer confidence. Our greatest fear is what the American people will start to say out loud and in turn deem as a reality. And when it becomes a reality in the mind, because we get so excited, we start believing in all this hype, we start to believe it, we start acting accordingly. Now this is a truth that's been around for a long time. And so I thought I would share this with you. I don't know if you've ever read this book, The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol. It was written over 50 years ago. And let me tell you something, it still applies today. He talks about in the book, something around the concept of the power of suggestion and the power of fear thoughts. That you know what, our own fear thoughts can turn this economy around. And that is not what you want, that's not what I want. So let's be mindful and I call on the media to be mindful about how you play this to the general public. Let's be responsible stewards of the message. That would be my suggestion to the media. But here's what Claude Bristol said over 50 years ago. He said, in the depression years, and there may be years like them in the future, we saw the same suggestive force working overtime. Day after day, we heard expressions such as, times are hard, 
Business is poor. The banks are failing. Prosperity hasn't a chance. And wild stories about business failures on every hand until they became the national chant. Millions believe that prosperous days would never return. Now, that was at the time of the Great Depression many, many years ago. Have those prosperous days returned? You bet. Just look at the last few years and where we're at today in terms of the economy. Millions believe that they, those days would never return. Hundreds, yes, thousands of strong-willed men and women go down to the constant hammering during the Depression, the constant hammering, the continuous tap-tapping of the same fearful thoughts. Money, always sensitive, runs to cover when fear suggestions begin circulating and business failures and unemployment quickly follow. We hear thousands of stories back in the Depression about bank failures, huge concerns going to the wall, and people readily believe them and then act accordingly. There will never be another, this is what he says, there will never be another business depression if people generally realize that their own fearful thoughts literally create hard times. So my suggestion is to you as an abundance thinker and to the media, be careful how you play your thoughts. If you have a negative thought, don't speak it out loud because it has 10 times more power by, by speaking it out loud. Be responsible with the words that you use. They either build or they destroy. And I suggest when it comes to the coronavirus, take it serious but respond responsibly, realizing that most people are not going to be impacted by it in terms of their health, right? Most people are not. They're going to get ahead of this. This will one day be behind us. There's not going to be millions and millions of deaths. Let's just be clear. It's easy to play this extreme card. But in my life, every time I've seen the extreme card played, the end of the world is coming, Y2K or other things like that. They have never come to pass. Most of the things we worry about never come to pass. But if you think it and you speak it and it becomes a national chant that it starts to change our behavior where we start pulling our money out of the stock market, just as an example, all of a sudden the stock market changes, right? Let's calm the fears. Let's listen to the people that are responsibly teaching you how to respond and then be wise. That's it. We're all going to be impacted at some level because of this coronavirus. But we have to believe that those that are in charge, both in government and other agencies, that their best interest is at heart. We cannot assume they want the worst for the American people or the world at large. We've got to believe that they want to help and they're doing everything in their power. And it was great that the California governor had positive things to say about President Trump in this time. I love a little bit of the recoil from the left realizing that the Trump administration, for example, is trying to do all that they could do. And if it was a Democratic administration, I would be saying the same thing. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Stop overreacting, be wise, do what you can do. Those things that you have power over, like washing your hands, pay attention to the proximity to other people. And you know what? Do all the little things that they're telling you to do. And by and large, most people are going to be just fine. All right? See things as they are, but see them better than they are and respond appropriately. I hope that helps. And may you go out there. Remember who you are, you have great potential, that you have greatness within, and now take that greatness and go unleash your greatness within. Podcast listeners, thanks for listening. You've taken time out of your schedule and I really appreciate it. Now do me a favor, if you like what you heard, star it. Thanks. Now go unleash your greatness within. Greatnesswithin.com